Try to catch me howling at the moon. Know your profit targets. How much profit should your business have on average each year? Okay, this is tricky because there really is no right or wrong answer. <laughs> Um, I mean, it depends. Are you just starting out? Are you in hyper growth mode? Are you in the process of acquiring a competitor? There are many reasons why a company can be okay with a less than normal profitable year, one year to another, right? Uh, depending on where they're at in their business. As a general rule, Greg Crabtree, author of Simple Numbers and uh, Simple Numbers 2.0 now as well, suggests that anything less than 10% annual net profit is equivalent to your business being on life support. You're one bad move or circumstance away from shutting the doors down or being in a lot of trouble. He suggests 10 to 15% is a healthy business. Anything above 15% will take it while you can get it. Now, based on most successful fitness studios that I've seen in our network, keep in mind, Greg Crabtree was talking about like in overall, all businesses. Uh, but what we're seeing here, um, it's very different, right? You guys are able to see numbers like 20, 25%. And uh, that's absolutely not a problem. But if you're not seeing this number, it's probably because you're not running your business efficiently, meaning you're overspending on people, rent, software, marketing, other expenses that aren't delivering a proportionate return. And your prices, if your prices are right, um, you know, you shouldn't have a problem. Your studio should be able to generate about 20 to 30% net profit. And we actually see some studios upwards in the 40 to 50% mark. Now it really does depend on your model. Not all models are equal. A Pilates studio that can only serve six students at a time may have a higher challenge in accomplishing this than a yoga studio that can have about 40 members in any given class. Regardless, uh, I suggest anything lower than 15% is either due to not having enough revenue to cover overhead expenses um, or overspending on the cost that it takes to run the business. And we're going to learn more about how you can determine what it is for your business over the next two days as well.